This is a multi-stem river birch and as you can see it's starting to push up the sidewalk here. So if you have this kind of a tree you want to make sure you have enough space for it and then you can see the concrete just coming right up out of the ground there and it's pushing it up for eight feet around it. So if you have a question on what kind of tree to plant someplace, just give us a call or send us a picture and we'd be glad to make a comment for you and help you make a selection. And you can see what the homeowner had to do. He put a rug down in the one section just to keep the uneven surface from tripping someone. So give us a call if you have a question about a plant. 215-651-8329. Hi, I'm Bill Hurst. I'm here at Highland Hill Farm. I'm going to show you how we put together our drip water kit. This is our standard kit right here. It consists of 100 feet of hose, 25 emitters, a coupler to put to your garden hose, a couple couplers in case you have a little air with a pipe, a T if you need a T, and a closer for the pipe. And I'm going to show you now how all these parts work and fit together. This is, this is our pipe. It's very easy to cut. Cuts easily. Now, to close it, to seal it, this is our sealer, and that's, a, that's closed off. No water will get through that now. To attach your garden hose to the, your system, you just push the compression fitting on, and now screw this on. Like that. Now it's connected. Hmm. Okay. Now, to, to put your emitter in, you use the bottom end of the emitter to push a hole into your tube. The hole is in the tube and now your spike goes right in there. Push right in. Done. Now, your, your, your emitter right here has two ends. This end is for going into the ground and this end is where the water comes out. There's a little slice in the, the tube right there. Okay, now the water will come out of there. Now to hook it up to your water system, you hook to a garden hose. Put the garden hose on. Now water will come out of that as soon as I turn the line on. But now, for most cases, you're going to have too much pressure in your line. So you don't turn it on full. You just turn it on partially. Water will fill up. see water coming out. Mm. Nice little flow. Now you can probably run onto this garden hose a hundred or a hundred and fifty of these. So you can do like a hundred to a hundred and fifty trees at a time. On an expensive tree you want to put two of these. In case one doesn't work the other w will take over. It's a very simple system. Just remember don't don't turn up the hose on too full if you have very few of these emitters in. These are five to six and four to fives. Green Giant Arborvitas. We've got plenty of them here. Just give us a call, 215-651-8329. These are some large foster hollies. 215-651-8329. These are five foot China girl hollies. Give us a call 215-651-8329. You see we've got a good selection here for you to pick. 215-651-8329. This is Nandina. Give us a call 215-651-8329. We have plenty of them here. Real nice evergreen. Only gets to be about five six feet. These are nice heavy plants. This is Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. These Leland cypresses here are about four foot high, some of them a little bit higher. And next to them are green giants, and over here are emerald greens. These are delivered and planted at your location for screening purposes for $40 each, including a drip water kit, which you will see in the next sequence on this video. These trees are easy to plant. The emerald greens are planted three feet apart. The green giants and the Leland cypresses are planted approximately five to six feet apart, or maybe even further apart. 
These trees are fast growing, easy to grow buffers for screens and barriers. They can give you great noise control. The Leolins and the Green Giants are deer resistant. The Emerald Greens are not deer resistant. But all these trees are easy to grow in full sunlight. You can have some shade for the Emeralds, but not much. You need to have full sun for, for best results for the Emerald Green. The Green Giant and the Leland Cypresses can take some shade. Again, the Lelands and the Green Giants are deer resistant. The Emerald Greens are not. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. These are $40 delivered, installed with a drip kit. The drip kit is free when you order a bunch of these trees. We, we travel all over the East Coast from Boston to Nashville. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. <laughs> Oh, you do. Uh, Holly, six to seven feet tall, well trimmed out, will grow in this pyramid shape with very little trimming once you get it into your yard. Will take quite a bit of uh, shade, does not want to sit in the full sun.